Hey there guys and gals, and welcome to an unboxing review of the Zuru X-Shot XS. Because it's, it's an XS, it's got two rotating barrels, you can't really see from here. But, we're gonna pop this sucker open, and we're gonna check it out. I see the zip tie fighting Mac. This is the XS. It's got two rotating barrels. This one is clearly locked in place. Does it have a switch? No. None that I can see anyway. It is one of the guns that shoots darts and this. The discs are terrible, so I'm not really going to worry about that. The priming mechanism is in the back. Uh, the top barrel is the one that fires. So hopefully there's some kind of instruction in here on how to make it fire properly. Uh, this one, like the set of duels, you get six half cans, so you can make three full cans if you'd like. Uh, you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 16 darts total. Uh, both of these chambers take six a piece. So you'll have what? Uh, four darts left over. Yep, 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 yep. When you're done. So, still, the best bang for your buck has been the barrel breaker and reflex revolver. That set has a ton of extra darts. A ton of them. I know I said this with my. Uh, Non sticky scissor, but there's some sticky Oh, I see. They taped up a whole bunch of stuff. Here's all them zip ties. We're just gonna power through them. We're gonna take out the dart pack because X Shot is nice, and then they give you a little holster with the hole in the back. That's cool. One of my discs is hella dirty. That's that's cool, I guess. I'm probably not gonna use the discs. Or I'm gonna fire them once and then completely forget to retrieve them. Which I don't really care one way or the other. The discs <laughs> hey, the discs are terrible. So I don't know. Really we uh my family for the longest time had one scissor in the entire house that actually cut things. And then we lost it when we moved up here. We're like, how the hell are we going to cut things? And I found a Crayola safety scissor that I've been using for my sticky stuff because it actually cut. And then my brother in law took me out to Harbor Freight one day and one of their free things for the day because Harbor Freight has great coupons and they give out tons of free stuff. Realistically, you buy one thing, you walk out of there with like a thousand things, and that's great. Bam, 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 bam. Bamboozle. Just gonna toss this aside. Now, remember how I said I hope there's directions? Huh, don't worry. Oh, says they fold out, do they? Uh, how do you fold them out? Is there a button I'm missing? I would assume there's a safety catch somewhere. How do I enable it though? 
Is it up here? No. Is it this button here? No, it's not a button. I don't want to just force it. You know what I mean? You don't, don't want to force it. Now this one reload this. Alright, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I looked up a tutorial on how to change the chambers. Uh, you actually just push them inside and ba bam you're good to go. Uh, there's a little catch in here. Um, which I'm a little worried will break. But, yeah, that's how it works. It actually doesn't look like there's very much space in these dart barrels to rotate. So we'll see if they fit elite darts. Now, in the interest of me trying to keep as many things in their correct places as possible, I just went back and grabbed the big pack that came with my revolver set, the Zuru X shot darts, rather than having to open those and having them fall all over the place. So we got X shot darts. I also started to make little baggies with AccuStrikes and regular elites. So I'm going to load up one of the chambers right now with six Zuru darts. I'm 999% sure they do in fact fit in the chamber. Oh! I am um, not sure if you guys can tell, but the darts actually go way in the chamber. So I was a little worried that they were going to stick out and get stuck, but it looks like yeah, the X-Shot darts are going in. How do I switch? Oh, I just keep... You can just keep rotating to the right to switch barrels. Okay, now I'm going to try some Elite, half Elite, half Accu Strike darts. Three elites. And I have three Accu Strike. Uh, we're getting a shipment of waffle darts tomorrow. I say we, but they're coming to my house. Um, let's see if they fit in. Just on the edge for the Accu Strike, so the elites should probably fit exactly the same. I had read that this guy could take nerf oh they do get stuck it does not rotate as easily as it would with a zuru dart so you're probably going to experience a jam if you've got accu strike darts in here let's see about elite darts does the same thing happen hmm they have an easier time with elites, but they still are a little weird. Uh, I'm not going to load discs in here because, as you guys know, the discs are horribly inaccurate. But one thing to note about the X-Shot Blasters is that if they have a disc launcher and a dart launcher, there's no way to separate them. And that means when you prime and you pull the trigger, you're firing a disc and a dart no matter what. You can't choose to just fire the discs, though I don't know why you'd want to unless someone was right on top of you. And you'd be like, ah, discs. If you can fire the discs as a shotgun, they might be more useful, but they're not very useful. It's a bit top heavy, but it also feels like there's something down here to counterweight, to counterbalance the front, because it is a little bit top heavy. And I'm going to assume what you shouldn't do that this will be where you're going to want to place your hand if you want to shoot accurately, but there's no sights on the top. So you're completely guessing with this one. There's no... There's no real... There, there's nothing to look down the barrel of. Like There's no iron sights, no nothing like that for this one. So 
I could understand if you want to keep your hand here after you've primed it, of course. That being said, I'm going to build up these three cups. Well, cans. Uh, I'm going to put them over there with the rest. And let's fire test this sucker. As you can see, we now have a ton more cans. I'm going to go back to my usual spot of about between 10 and 15 feet away. I'm going to fire off the Zuru darts first. And I will count for you guys how many jams we get. It's also a little bit darker than it was before. I'm filming this at night. Sorry. I didn't get home in time. Prime the first chamber. We're going with Zuru darts. Now remember, there's no sight on this, so I'm completely eyeballing it and taking a guess. I was aiming at the fourth can, but I'll take that. That was... That felt good! That one went real low. I think that one came out exactly where I was aiming. If you, like, look to the side of the gun when you're aiming it, meh. I feel like it's also firing really hard, if that makes sense. I, I feel like it's firing harder than the other guns have. Now, clearly I don't own a chronograph because I just got into dart guns, but that might be something to check out. We are switching to, looks like, Nerf Elite darts. Oh, wait, hold on. It doesn't feel good when you manually rotate the barrel. The dart came out pretty straight. Ah, uh, it seems like you're going to have to manually reload, ro uh, rotate the barrel if you're using Elite or End Strike Dart because they get stuck. Yeah, it can't rotate, so you have to do it for it. So basically, you're stuck using the shorter darts. Those, the actual zero darts pretty much have to go in the excess. It's definitely firing out faster. Switching to Accu Strike. Yep. You can hear me clicking, that's me manually rotating the barrel. This is the last dart. It is an anti strike dart. Pretty accurate for where I was shooting, as is common with the anti strikes. Hey there, guys and gals. So, with the excess, even though the barrels do technically fit anti strike darts and end strike darts, let's just go over here. You guys, they technically fit in the chamber. They'll get stuck when it's rotating. Seems like especially the Accu Strike darts. The Accu Strike darts might be a smidge taller than the End Strike Elites. So I am going to put some Elites in and see if it spins by itself. You really gotta shove them in there. They get stuck sometimes, but it's a much better go of it than the Active Strike. Let's see if they prime though. Now, that little catch in here that helps me, I don't know if you guys can see it. There's a small catch in here. I feel like that's going to break pretty easily because there's no way to seems like there's no way to get it to just stay inside. Seems like the faster you move it, the easier it is. I'm going to leave that out. Let's see if it automatically rotates when it's primed. Then strike darts. It does not. So, Unfortunately, it looks like the X-Shot Excess, you're going to have to stick with the X-Shot darts or get similar, similarly short darts. Unless you want to be there manually reloading, which 
in most cases, you probably don't want to be.